Senator Cantwell, your opening statement. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I want to thank you and Vice Chairman Barrasso for holding this important hearing, particularly on the Quileute Tribe Tsunami Protection Bill and doing so so quickly. I also want to thank all the witnesses for coming here today, especially to thank the Chairwoman Bonita Cleveland for coming all the way from La Push in my home state of Washington to testify on the second panel. She not only had to fly 2,000 miles, but also had to drive four hours in a ferry ride to get here from the Quileute Reservation. Um, the Quileute resides on one square mile reservation surrounded by the Olympic National Park, the Bluffs, and the Quileute uh, has one of the most beautiful beaches in the world. While the setting may be very picturesque, the tribe faces danger every day. Because of the small size of the tribe's reservation, most of their tribal facilities, including their daycare center, elder center, tribal office, and home sites, sit directly in the path of a potential tsunami. Just a few weeks ago, in the early morning, the Quileute tribe evacuated several hundred people to higher ground because of the potential tsunami caused by the large quake in Japan hours earlier. Fortunately, the tribe had hours of advance warning to start the evacuation and tsunami that eventually arrived was small. However, a tsunami caused by an earthquake on the Cascadia subduction zone fault just off Washington coast would arrive much more quickly and without warning. So the tribe would only have minutes to evacuate hundreds of people. In an effort to help itself, the tribe has moved as many people to higher ground as possible, but there is very little uh, unusable space on the reservation that is not within a tsunami flood zone. So there is no safe buildable land on the reservation. The goal of this legislation is to help the tribe move all of its tribal facilities out of the tsunami zone and away from the threat of flooding from the river. And the sensible legislation would increase economic opportunity and safeguard the Quileute families and their property from the devastating tsunami and floods. This legislation is the product of government-to-government -government negotiations between the Quileute and the National Park Service with the goals of helping the tribe and, setting, and moving forward uh, in the region. Included in this legislation through negotiations has through the tribe and the park is an agreement that fixes the northern border of the reservation and ensures for park visitors to some of the most beautiful beaches on the Washington coast. Helping the Quileu tribe move their facilities 800 feet up and out of the tsunami zone is the primary purpose of this legislation. However, it will ensure visitors access to Second Beach, Rialto Beach, and preserve thousands of acres of Olympic National Park as wilderness. Again, I thank the chairman and the vice chairman for holding this hearing, and I look forward to hearing from the Department of Interior on this legislation. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And Mr. Lavender, thank you so much for your testimony. You are in support of this legislation um, 636, is that correct? That's correct. And you um, believe that we have settled any, you know, concerns or um, the, the, the reservation and the northern boundary and all of that? All the concerns have been met. Okay, good. Um, well, that's all I actually had, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you for asking these questions because I think you do see by the video the precarious situation that the Quileute are in. And thank you, Chairperson Cleveland, for your testimony and bringing the spirit of the Quileute people here to this hearing room today. Um, I wanted to ask, uh, you've done a good job of showing the impact of the Pacific, and we probably didn't emphasize enough for people about uh, this most recent warning system was in Japan, but obviously something that would happen on the Cascadia uh, subduction zone right off our coast would be an immediate impact, and that's why you're emphasizing the time to evacuate would be very minimal. So, um, but can we also talk about um, the Quileute River and its impact? Because I know that uh, it is also part of your boundary area, and with the heavy rains and the fact that you are right next to a temperate rainforest, you have a lot of of uh, issues with flooding from the river. I mean, the river could, I mean, if, could you comment on that uh, uh, channels for the river and yes. how that impacts the reservation and how that, how moving to a bluff would uh, alleviate that issue? Yes. Um, we are impacted by the river, like our, our lower village, we're on one point square mile and our lower village is surrounded on one side by the 
by the river, and then the other side is surrounded by the Pacific Ocean, and in, behind us we're surrounded by the Olympic National Park. So during the winter months, our river is, is um, overflowing into people's homes, and um, we're having to move the people out of their homes. Uh, they're, they're flooded, they're, they flood their homes winter, every winter, winter after winter after winter, this is occurring with our tribal people. And it really impacts our people and it creates a hardship for them because they have nowhere to go. They have to move in with relatives to higher ground somewhere else and until we can get their houses cleaned up again, Mr. Chairman. So this, so this land infrastructure uh, trade with the Department of Interior will allow you to relocate to that higher ground, but it also uh, preserves or actually, I would say, probably even enhances the continued access of a larger community to the magical places of La Push and Rialto and everything mm -hmm. else for the region. Is that correct? That is correct. Yes, it is. And so could you comment a little bit about the, the importance of that and the, um, you know, continuing to have access to those places that you get to enjoy every day? Well, I, I guess number one priority it would be um, giving us access to higher ground and it would allow people safety and protection and being able to live at ease and it would be able to allow people to enjoy the beautiful beaches that we so, that are, we're surrounded by and able to to continue our um, fishing on the rivers as we've done for centuries. Thank you. Again, thank you. Um, and c could you just emphasize, because I, I, you mentioned um, the Twilight Tribe. Could you just expound on that for a minute? Cause yes. Um, some people may have one impression, and so maybe you could. Well, our tribe is um, known for the movie Twilight in um, we have a lot of tourism that come to our community uh, because it's a, it's a famous movie that's out there, Twilight, and they come and, and um, tour our village to see the actors that were in the Twilight movie. So we have many, many visitors that come to our village to um, stay, and you know, it's, this would protect all the tourists also. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.